Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to be talking about CPU coolers, in particular the leaks and current speculation going on with the potential for the Ryzen 3000 series and whether or not they will have CPU coolers. Now, today's video, as I said, is going to be a combination of leaks, my personal speculation, which of course I'll go through and I'll explain what I'm thinking. Um, but there's a lot of things going on. It is at the point now that we are getting a lot of confirmation about the Ryzen uh, 3000 series. Uh, all the rumors and leaks by Adore TV have currently been spot on. Um, there's apparently been some 16 core and 12 core processors floating around. It's some that have been benchmarked. So this is, we're getting very close and it's highly, highly likely within 70 uh, or above percent um, likely that these are actually physical processors. So therefore these processors that have 16 cores, things like that are definitely, uh, are very likely to become a reality. There was no CPU cooler with the, some of the first gen processors. Only the X processors didn't come with a cooler and the non-X processors came stock with a cooler. Now, with the Ryzen 7 series, or the next gen, sorry, not the Ryzen 7 series, Ryzen 2000 series, we saw ourselves, a, of course, with stock coolers across the board. Not only stock coolers, but nice stock coolers. The Ryzen 2700X, which I think I have one over here somewhere, um, it is definitely one of the um, best coolers that AMD has done, in my personal opinion, uh, ever. Uh, it's a really nice cooler, and actually I have one up here too. Um, but it's a really nice cooler. And honestly, you can't get any better um, than this because it's got the RGB, it's got all the nice stuff. And I definitely think that it's a really solid processor. I believe this is a 95 watt or 100 um, watt rating, uh, whatever the 2700X is. I don't have that memorized on the top, off the top of my head, I apologize. Um, but this, of course, is a cooler uh, that's built for that. Now, where my current speculation and some of the leaks are suggesting is that we are going to probably get something along the lines of some of the processors up to some of the top, um, up to maybe around the Ryzen 7 or the Ryzen 5 may actually have stock coolers on all the processors. And then above that, we may see something where there are just the processors. Now, this kind of makes sense in the uh, when you look at it because the top end stuff like the 12 core and the 16 core are going to be the most expensive. They're going to be quite expensive in the sense that uh, A, for AMD to manufacture, there's not going to be much profit margins. Um, as we talked about in previous video, there, there is a lot of a substantial decrease in the cost per core. And so AMD is losing up uh, a good bit of profit. So they may decide to cut costs a little bit and not include a stock cooler. Another reason is if you're going to get this high-end processor, this $500 processor, you're highly likely to, of course, go through and also have a high uh, enough budget in your available to go through and also get a nicer cooler. And therefore, the stock um, cooler that they would include may not be something that you'd want to be using, especially if you're playing overclocking, which these processors are, with the 7 nanometer um, design, going to be a lot easier to overclock and have a little bit more performance you can squeeze out of them. Now. That's not saying that the low-end processors, um, especially with like something with eight cores, six cores, is going to, it's definitely going to benefit from the stock cooler because that's more of the budget where people are going to actually um, not necessarily have the most budget for a cooler and have something where they can buy it and of course get a cooler with it has been the Ryzen 2000 series best uh, shining key factor. Um, having a cooler that comes automatically with any processor saves people money, um, definitely beats out Intel. And especially when you're going for that lower end budget, AMD really shine there. So I think they're going to try to continue that down below in the lower end of the product stack. And then of course we'll see something where they'll, of course, maybe the same standard stock coolers. Um, we may see something for the Ryzen, um, the eight core um, processors, maybe even the 12 cores. There's possibly on the 16 cores, but I really don't see the top tier um, coming stock with a cooler because I have a feeling most people will just throw it away because it'll be liquid cooling or getting some type of super overclocking air cooler that it's not going to be highly likely um, at the top tier of the stack is of course going to be running into that issue. Also that would require a total redesign of the current process or total redesign of the current coolers and I think we may end up seeing the low end stuff like uh, maybe this cooler gets now put on the um, 8 core processor which is the Ryzen 5 I believe in the 3000 series according to the leaks. Um, and then the 6 core, of course, gets the standard Wraith um, stealth or whatever. And I think that would be something that's definitely possible, especially with lower p power consumption, uh, lower TDP. Uh, but I really think that overall, the top end of the stack, um, especially from looking online, really does, it's really supportive um, that we may not, it's very likely that we will not see a cooler for that top of the stack. 
And obviously, this is, of course, league speculation, so it's not necessarily the, um, it's not concrete, um, but if you look at the logic behind it, it definitely does make a lot of sense that AMD would um, avoid doing that on the top of the product stack, especially when there are a lot of people interested in not using the stock cooler. Um, as I said, the stock cooler is great and all, but especially for the people that want to overclock and get the absolute most out of their performance, especially with something with like a 16 core processor at 5.1 gigahertz would be absolutely insane. So I think there's a lot of people that would definitely want to be chasing that. Um, and I don't think it would be viable. Um, just kind of like the Ryzen 1800X was, um, they didn't include a, a stock cooler just because they figured people would be overclocking it to the max, top tier, it's gonna be the best, it's gonna be the most fastest, so we probably also wanna make sure that those people have the ability to go through and overclock it and not include a stock cooler because it would just not get used. And obviously when there's something that's not getting used by consumers, there's no point in putting in there, save the money, make, make up on some profit margin, especially because this is a rather, um, looking at it from the past for the cost per core and then looking at this now it will definitely be quite tight um and i think it will just be a very interesting thing when we see but that's what i think and that's also the speculation and stuff um but thank you very much for watching if you had a wonderful or if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have a wonderful day um also give it a thumbs up and uh, have a wonderful day and uh yeah let me know down in the comments your thoughts about this let me know if you're excited for the ryzen 3000 series and as always thank you very very much for watching have a wonderful day. Goodbye.